Hi everyone, this is Melissa with ProjectNursery.com and I'm going to be sharing with you tips on how to photograph your nursery. Every day on ProjectNursery.com we are inundated with amazing nurseries and photos shared by our readers and it's really what makes our website tick. But I want to take a minute to share with you how do you get the most of those nursery photos. Now I am not an expert photographer by any means but I've seen over 50,000 images of nurseries on our website. So I'm going to tell you what works and tell you a little bit of what doesn't work when shooting your nursery. After all, you've spent so much time decorating the nursery, you're going to want your photos to stand out and we have some amazing competitions that take place every month on Project Nursery. Heck, every week. And I bet you if your photography uh, was kicked up a notch, uh, that may even help your chances. The first tip I have here is you don't have to have a big fancy expensive camera. With technology these days, I look to the iPhone. For some reason, the iPhone just knows and you can get some excellent quality photos. So don't feel like because you're not a professional photographer and you do not have a professional camera uh, that your pictures aren't going to be quality because they are. Next up, I think lighting is probably the most important uh, when shooting an interior. If you have a lot of natural light, which is great for the room, but you're not going to want to photograph it directly. So it's so unfortunate when I see parents uh, submitting pictures where they stand directly in front of the window. The best thing you can do is have the light behind you. That way it lightens and brightens the room. And if you are showcasing uh, your window treatments, try focusing and zooming in on some small details or taking another shot later in the day or with the curtains even closed in the evening. My next tip is, uh, well, it's not really a tip. It's really a, a, a dilemma. It's to flash or not to flash. And what I mean by that is uh, so many of us are trained to just take a photo with auto flash and if it comes up great if it doesn't it doesn't try both if you have great light in the room you'd be surprised turning off the flash uh, you're gonna get much better pictures uh, there's also a website called pickmonkey.com and it's a great way to edit your photos uh, it's a great way to play with lighting in the room um, contrast and colors for any of your nursery photos so it's a free service it's pick with PIC monkey.com and uh, next up I want to tell you what I personally like to do and it sounds a little strange but when I'm in a room I will squat down really low to take the photo or I'll stand up really tall on a, on a chair or a bench uh, and shoot down and so it's playing with angles and a different perspective and you'd be really surprised how your pictures will come out uh, you may get a greater uh, view of the room um, or a different perspective that's slightly more artistic and it's fun to do now that said, I know we're always trying to get a photo of the crib. So what you can do rather than facing the crib head on, try shooting a corner. Uh, shooting the corners of the room adds a little bit more depth to the room rather than shooting the wall directly in front of you which then becomes a little flat and closed in. And then you feel challenged to get everything into that photo, uh, which isn't really necessary. Which leads me to my next tip and that is take a look at the accessories and highlight them. Uh, often on Instagram, let's say, you'll see photos that are angled and details and sometimes the devil is in the details. That's the fun part and our readers really want to see that. Uh, and lastly, uh, the tip I have for you goes with staging. Sometimes less is more. So keep things clutter free and trust me, your photos will come back uh, 10 times better with a clean, bright, airy room and that's what we're looking for at Project Nursery. So, now that you have more tips, don't forget, upload your photos now to share your nursery or your children's spaces or your kids' parties to projectnursery.com. We can't wait to see them. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching.